Hey guys, welcome back. I have now officially completed the plumbing process, which was uh, pretty easy. You just need all the parts, all the right parts. So let's talk about what we need. Um, for every two rows of plants on your tables, you're going to need one half inch ball valve. And you're either going to need an elbow or a T, depending on how many rows you have um, and depending on where they're situated. You need some half inch main line. And that half inch main line goes all the way back to the pump, which we'll get to in a second. We'll just deal with what we need right now. So uh, as far as tools, you're going to need uh, a hole puncher. And you're going to need for every plant and every basket, in this case 40, you're going to need 40 nipples, 40 quarter inch nipples. And uh, you just pop a hole in the main line with either, either hole puncher and uh, pop the nipple in there. Then you run a... Uh, you run a quarter inch drip tube or spaghetti tube from the nipple to the basket and I always cut them off halfway just to make sure they don't flip out and uh, drain all over the place and uh, for every main line running between we have some um, cable ties or uh, plumbing ties here for um, for PEX actually some uh, some PEX staples PEX clamps and uh, just to keep these things taut and straight I got two clamps per one a quarter way in, one on the end, and you're going to need half inch plugs for uh, for every main line at the end. And it came together really pretty here. So uh, if we can just go down the row here, there's an elbow uh, with some more PEX, um, PEX clamps, PEX staples, and then uh, obviously a T, and then another setup, really easy, all the way down, another T. Another T, and don't forget about your ball valve to uh, control your flow to make sure that your pressure is the same to every basket. And it's really easy. All of this uh, stuff just runs to a Model 5 to Model 12, depending on how long your tables are. Um, I've, I've even used uh, smaller ones, but uh, I prefer Model 5s or Model 750s for the actual uh, drip lines. <clears throat> Got a filter on it just to prevent any cloggage. That's all you really need. Uh, if you're not getting too crazy, I was running organic tea in my last grow that I posted up, so I had a uh, I had a different filter on there, an extra barrel filter, which isn't needed if you're uh, if you're sticking to 25% uh, organics or less. Here's some more tools. You're going to need a pipe cutter to uh, cut all your pipe down, all your main line, and uh, yeah, folks, that just about does it. Tables are the tables are actually done now. There isn't really much to do other than me filling up the reservoir full and I'm going to be adding 10 mLs per liter. So that's 40 mLs per gallon of 35% food grade food grade hydrogen peroxide and then I'm going to run that through all the lines and run it in the res, make sure all the dust gets cleaned out. Um, who knows what the hell's in these lines once they leave the factory. I mean, they can be virtually free, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm not gonna go through all this trouble to, uh, to not uh, prepare for the worst. So, and that is the MedMan method, prepare for the worst and uh, hope for the best. So we're doing the best we can over here. So next up, I already have my uh, six adjuster wings for this side. Got four in boxes, two ready to go. And then I just need to grab six more adjuster wings for this side. And we're going to run them out to uh, the holes, some pre-drilled holes that are going to run to a timer board, maybe a flip board, depending on uh, how fast I set up the other room. And then I just need to take down uh, these, these uh, electrical cords and uh, attach the adjuster wings to them. So yeah, that's about it. <clears throat> really, really easy. I am going to add uh, the ducts on right away. Um, so I guess the tables aren't 100% complete, they're 95% complete. Just got to add the ducts on there, which is a really, really easy task. But I just wanted to talk about the plumbing for now anyway. So yeah, that's that, coming together, guys. So thanks for tuning in. And on that note, um, I'll get back to you guys as soon as, the, uh, as, soon as I got the electrical done. Alright y'all, peace out.